Yo guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Weaver today. Today we are doing the Swedish Tier 3 Swiss 1 M40L light tank. Let's get right into what this tank is. Pretty much what it can do, I guess. This way you know though, both the premium rounds and the standard rounds are actually both APCR on this tank. So that is something to let you know. But let's get right into more of the review of it. The standard APCR gets around 70 8 meters penetration, the premium APCR is around 98 meters penetration, and the HE is around 19 meters penetration. The damage of both the premium APCR and the standard APCR is around 40, meter, 40 damage for both of them, and 50 damage for the HE. The hit points is 230, max speed is 47 miles per hour, which again you could probably increase that just a little bit more if you want to. My is increased. Um, the view range is 320, and still can the concealment is 315. The guns it has a 37 mm Con M38 Swiss one gun, that's the stock gun, and then a 37 mm Con M38 49 Swiss one. That's the completely upgraded gun. I prefer the completely one. My equipment, I put a improved ventilation, advanced gun line drive, and a advanced powertrain. Makes it a little more speedy. I put a first aid repair kit and a fire extinguisher on this tank. Never know when you're going to need them. And I put around 90 rounds of APCR standard, 5 rounds of uh, the premium APCR, and 5 rounds of HE. As you see, I'm showing you both of them are both APCR, both premium and standard APCR. And press, you know, the HE. My commander only has one perk, which is six cents. Still working on her. The armor, not the bad. Five meter thickness, which is the back of the belly of the tank and the roof and the uh, right above the tracks in the back. If you can see right there. And press the roof of the turret. We're on seven meter thickness, which is the under part of the turret. As you can see right there. Frontal part of the belly of the tank, eight meter thickness. Press the front roof. Of the turn nine meter thickness, which is that spot right there in the front of the turn hall, and the rear of the hall, like a little T. Ten meter thickness, which is space armor on the tracks and the gun. Thirteen meter thickness, which is the little gray system, the size of the hall and the rear of the turn hall. Fifteen meter thickness, which is the it looks like the gun mat right there. 18 meter thickness, which is the turret ring, and 20 meter thickness, which is the size of the turret. 30 meter thickness, which. Where is this spot? Underneath, right there, you can see it. That little spot right there. And 35 meter thickness at the rear of the turret, if you can see right there. 43 meter thickness, which is the upper graces. And around 48 meter thickness, which is that little bit. Um, hang on, I'll show you. Bit right there. The, the that little turret and 50 millimeter thickness in the turret, and that's with all the armor. So, what's enough of the jibber jabber? Let's get into a gameplay, guys. First game is Cliff, really decent, really good game. But aren't these good games at tier 3? You can basically get really good games at tier 3. If you're struggling, I will progress this. If you're struggling at the higher tiers, probably jump to the tier 3. You can get some wins, especially if you're trying to get, like, in first place. You can more likely come in first place more often than not at tier 3. Um, as long as you have a tier 3 vehicle, you can more likely come in third place, first place, a lot more than you could when you're playing higher tiers. Now, yeah, you're going to get panned no matter what down in this tier somewhat, especially if you get bomb tiered. But tier 3 is a pretty soft spot where you want to play and try to get some things done like the two skins if you want to get the T-Cine 2 and the M1A1 Abrams skin um, or camouflage you go jump down here at this tier and, and play it my f first thought though of this map I was going to go and go right into the middle of this hill up here so that's why I'm taking my time as well, just in case if someone did already took it, they spot me and the rest of their team could probably shoot me. That's why I wasn't trying to rush too fast. 
even though my team's behind me that's due because I put that uh, <laughs> advanced powertrain drive on my tank to make it a little bit more speedy at this tier <laughs> very quick I got behind this bush spot a few enemy tanks there it looks like do things tell me six I'm thinking this tank has to be really good gun impression I fired I did get spotted so eh. fired two shots at that uh, German light tank Missed that shot because it went to the ground. I hit him, damaged him with the Panzer 38 T. Keeping him, I think it damaged his engine or detract him again, then I killed him. Here comes a T127. He misses his first shot, but I didn't miss my shot. I hit him again. My teammates back behind me, helped me. I hit him. And I hit him again. That time I actually bounced off his upper graces if you angle that tank. Someone died over there, but Chad got the spotting assistance for it. See this low medium tank coming, I lock in, shot, I bounce. I didn't switch to premium, I probably should have right here, but just didn't. But I also didn't want to get shot by the enemy pegs. But they were trying to. Oh, sorry for that, guys. Uh, a little sleepy, I guess. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm getting a lot of spotting systems up here. Enemy tanks is trying to kill me. Popping up, trying to get the turret. Keep on bouncing, even with that turret. French D2 medium tank. Here comes a Stuart. Try, oh, actually, I hit him, I should bounce. I hit him the first time, and then he first fall back, but I still got shot into him and killed him. But he tracked me, so. It wasn't no big deal because I'm over here. I didn't use my repair kit because I didn't see no fit to doing it. I didn't see too many more enemy tanks over here so I took it. I hit my first shot on the go. Someone else hit him. I hit my second shot. My third shot hit. Someone else took him out. Then this is where I realized there was a light tank up here. He put one shot to me. I put one shot to him. He put one shot to me. I play another shot, I play another shot, he misses, and then I killed him. I finished him off. So I'm going over here trying to get Artie because I realized there's only three enemy tanks a medium, Artie, and a light tank. But my team will be finishing off the medium, wherever they go, they finish off the medium tank. I spot the uh, Artie, he even though spot me, but I put one shot into him, put another shot into him, put another shot. And last shot, and not least, I finished off Artie. The best kill at the end of a game. Gotta love killing Artie. Even though I'm at 47 hit points, I feel real confident that we got this in the bag. Even though the last tank is the AMX 38. Real tough. Really, this tank is really a tough tier 3 light tank. I kind of like it because it could take out, take a lot of hits actually. And directly. Even though it's French, these bottom tier French tanks could really be punished. But, we'll see. I hit him the first time, did some damage for him, left him hit one hit points. That shot, I don't know what happened to that shot. And the last shot killed him and finished him off. And that was a victory. Well done victory too. Very decent good victory, I must say, as well with uh, having it like this, I guess, <laughs> for today. Came first place on my team. Yeah. Decent, right? Five kills. Not bad. Five kills. Five kills. That's pretty decent, is it, guys? I got around 35,000 credits, 3,432 XP, 172 com free XP, 4,290 uh, commander XP, five kills, 808 damage. 36 direct hits and assist 137. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Please like, please subscribe to the channel, and please put your comments down below. See you guys next time. Bye for now.